Following the site opening, the site was awarded the International ISP Award for Process Excellence. And then the following year, we were also awarded the Asia Pacific CMO of the Year Award. When we get a new program to site, the first part of the process is a proposals to projects meeting where all of the information that was discussed with our proposals team as part of the initial contract discussions and understanding the program. That information, including the risks of the program, the timelines and scope, that's transferred across to the project team. So the project team includes the process engineers, the quality control team and a project manager who looks after the team. When we first meet with a client, we talk about all the different manufacturing options that could be used in this project to meet the client's needs. And so that might involve talking them through different manufacturing scales, different types of processes that we can use at large scale, and all the while understanding what the client's needs are in terms of timeline, risk and cost. So in the early stages of process development, we work directly with our clients and our PD sites to ensure that the facility fit they're working towards at development scale can be executed in our Brisbane facility. In that respect, we get involved quite early on to make sure that the processes that are being developed will fit the equipment on site and ensure that we get a successful execution. So we work with customers based all around the globe. So working in different time zones is a challenge that all of these sites have but we will schedule our communications at times that are appropriate for all time zones. So our upstream area consists of four um, dedicated pre-culture rooms where we, we do the vial thaw and the initial stages of the pre-culture, so shake flask and an incubator, expanding those cells up until they're ready to be passaged up to a, a wave reactor. We have two by 2,000 litre bioreactors and all the necessary seed reactors to support that. So I think the the value of us having such a broad range of technology and upstream and um, a number of different single-use bioreactors from different suppliers allows us to take a process from a client and integrate it into the site seamlessly. So in downstream we receive clarified harvest from our upstream team and generally our first step will be a capture chromatography on one of our chromatography skids. We have two different types of skid at the Brisbane facility. We have the Acta Bio Process and the Acta Ready. After our primary capture step, we typically come further down the suite and perform a low pH virus inactivation step, and then there'll be another one or two polishing steps on other chromatography media. The final step in this suite will be the virus filtration step, and once that is complete, we transfer the whole product pool into our final fill suite, which is the designated post-viral room and has its own air handling system. This is our CGMP warehouse. We have capacity to restore over 3,000 pallets in a temperature controlled environment, 50 pallets in our 2 to 8 degrees Celsius room, and up to 40 minus 70 degrees Celsius freezes to store drug substance. And we also have a security system in place. The security system is important because we store millions of dollars in drug substance, and this needs to be securely managed. So one great advantage of the Brisbane site is that we have significant expansion space on our second and third levels. Um, there's 2,000 square metres of floor space there um, that could essentially double the manufacturing capacity that we have on, on the level four area. The best part of working at the Brisbane site is we have a really multinational diverse team, uh, 26 different nationalities on site, which is great when you're working with a really international clientele. You're able to meet the diverse needs of that client and have an appreciation for different cultures. Made with process and purpose in Brisbane, Australia.